ocean out there. Much colder last night than the night before. And this sleeping bag is okay. I get so groggy in the morning. It's so hard to find the energy to get up. And get moving. I get up now. I got eight and a half hours of daylight. So, one normal work day. Well, good morning, Mr. Vaz. How you doing? Groggy, man. I need to, to get some coffee with me, and then I'll be feeling all right. We'll go up to a winter wonderland. I'm very hungry, and I do not have the energy right now to cook. That's why these are great, and I'm hoping that one of these has some coffee. Jeff will be joining me in a little bit. It ain't bacon and eggs. I literally went to sleep hungry. I was too lazy to cook anything by the time I realized it. Come on, baby. Tell me there's some coffee in here, man. That's what I'm looking for. There's a spoon. What's this? Vanilla pudding. Ooh, vanilla pudding. Cheese spread. I don't got time for you. I don't got time for you. What do we got? Carbohydrate electrolyte beverage powder. This is all good. But I want to know where the corn nuggets. Corn nuggets. I want to know where the coffee is. What do we got? Here, let's see. Lighthouse sugar. Moist toilet. Salt. Some gum. I could use some gum right now. Instant coffee. Yes. 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 Where's my mug? Da, 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 da. I got coffee. Mr. Perulo. Mr. Buddy. Was sleepy last night because on Christmas he stayed up a little late and he regretted it. But he was a trooper, man. So by midnight, Jeff was all passed out. And he is feeling refreshed, right, Jeffrey? Yeah, I feel great. Feeling like refreshed. a million bucks. Get up. You know, when a million bucks is a lot of money. Yeah, when a million bucks is a lot of money. For me, you know, 20000 is a lot of money. Heat up some water here, and I always feel a trillion times better after I have some coffee. Let's see what Jeff gets in his pack of... It all, it all goes in the ration. tummy. It all goes in the tummy, right? It all goes the same place? Yeah. I got some Italian breadsticks. It's like Christmas. Oh, I want this so bad. <clears throat> all righty. I'm so addicted to coffee, man. <clears throat> oh, my favorite. Grandma's cooking in the woods. Here we go. Yeah. We got marinara sauce with meatballs. Yeah, forget about hey, it, you know. Yo, we're doing meatballs all day today. We're doing meatballs get all the, day. Hey, get the crack, crack pot. Corn nuggets. You know what? I'm going to have a corn nugget with my coffee. All right. Military grade plastic spoon. <laughs> so, right here. Is that cocoa? I think it's, it's coffee. So. Oh, there you go. It's in coffee. You got to reheat that, though. I may uh, put new clean water in it. <laughs> oh, this is too hot. MRI. Nothing beats eating right in the morning. Gets energy. I'm starting to feel the energy, man. Put this guy in here. Leave it and have some coffee in. 
bread sticks in the morning. Yummy. Mmm. Meatballs. Mmm. Good meatballs. Good meatball. Hey, buddy. How you doing? We got some beautiful weather. I'm working on a wall. Jeffrey is collecting a massive amount of firewood for tonight. Frozen grounds are no fun, man. They're no fun at all. building a wall to make things a little warmer. Yesterday we were pretty comfortable. We brought all the gear that we needed. Negative 50 degree boots, negative 20 degree jacket. Jeff was all hooked up, plenty warm. He had a super duper sleeping bag. And he reported that it was extremely comfortable. It might be colder tonight and we will be ready. And much more comfortable because we build in this wall. Ow. So I'm not paying attention to making it look fancy or anything like that. It's already 1.30. Time flies by. We're going to eat lunch in a little bit. But I want to get this wall up and be able to chill before the sun goes down. Brother. Any favor? I'm going to feed this in, and then you're going to carefully let it feed in. Okay. Oh, then we got to take care of these little stragglers. This right here will mess up your whole plan. Any stragglers over there, we're good. No, pretty good. All right. On to number two. Four. All right. Oh, we gotta flip it. See how there's a big gap? Flip it. There we go, that's better. If we were gonna be here for a week, we would take our time and have things look straighter and all perfect for a million likes, but that's just not logical, especially when the sun's gonna go down in a few hours, you wanna build a wall. This is straight enough. We're doing what we can in improvising. We're gonna put in more logs, more logs, tighten this up really, really good. And we'll have ourselves a little bit of a windbreak and the shelter will be even more cozy today. We are very careful, we've done this a bunch, and we're very deliberate about where we go, when we go, and how we accomplish it. I predicted this thing would be done at 2.30. We might make it. This isn't too straight, but hopefully it'll, it'll work. Good. We're getting there. Good enough. We're going to fill in the gaps and everything, and it's going to serve its purpose. Thank you, sir. We are running out of time, folks. And so it's not smart for me to spend even more time building this up and making this taller. Oh, snap. This dude's cutting down dead trees over here. So, I'm gonna fill this in with the random debris, pine boughs, leaves, dirt, whatever I can find to fill in the gaps. But this will definitely improve the shelter. And again, when you're running out of time, you can't sit around with the sun going down and then be stubborn and be like, no, I want to finish this perfect. I want it to be taller. If I had more time, I would make this even taller, but this will work for right now. 
Let me go ahead and finish this up because we are hungry and we want to be nice and prepared for when the sun goes down. I don't have a lot to work with. The ground is frozen because of the snow. There's not as much debris to work with, but I do have this and I am going to weave these in and kind of tuck them into the gaps. And with enough of these, it should work. Winter's so much of a bummer. They really need to change the, the time. There's no reason why the sun should go down this early. I definitely look forward to feeling this shelter tonight and feeling the difference with this little wall. There we go. Okay. Oh! <laughs> there we go. All right. A little are... incline. Is that recording? Woohoo! Yes. <laughs> the wall is complete. It doesn't look perfect, but it'll do its job. I filled in the gaps with a bunch of dirt and leaves and debris and pine boughs. And with the sun going down in about 35, 40 minutes, being hungry, this will work out. I'm not going to sit here and be anal and, and be like, this looks perfect. I need 89 likes on this. No, <laughs> this will definitely work. We know that the weather is going to be good. It's going to be just like last night. There's barely any wind. I mean, Jeff fell asleep in this area last night because it was so warm and cozy that we know that this will make us more comfortable. It'll help us out, but we don't need much more. We, we are starving. See, I can barely talk right now because I'm so hungry. We burnt so many calories. We go eat and we will see you later. Get this kid a Snickers bar. He's hungry. So Jeff gathered a whole bunch of firewood and we are pretty much set for the night with that. And he did that while I built this wall. It's amazing how fast the days go by in the winter time. It feels like we just woke up and after doing a whole bunch of work on the wall and collecting firewood, we're getting ready for the sun to go down. And we got ourselves some nice rotisserie chicken. It's a little ritual we have. Every time we go camping, Jeff brings a rotisserie chicken and we crisp that thing up and smoke it over the fire. It's absolutely delicious. This is what it be. I'm over here, Jeff is over the. What is that? It ain't a word. Well, stop your rap thing, because you sound like a turd. I'm looking over here and I see a light. It looks kind of cool like you're down in flight. Yo, that light. And the night is creeping in. We got a nice toasty fire. We got our stuff all organized before the sun went down. Grabbed our flashlights. You gotta make sure you know where everything is. Put stuff away so stuff doesn't freeze overnight. And now we're gonna hang out at this cozy fire. Night number two. It worked out well last night and I'm imagining it's gonna be even warmer with this nice wall. We had a third tarp, and if you have a third tarp, why not put it up so we actually block the wind even more? So we have a very cozy place. There's the doorway over there. Jeffrey installed some nice little lights that his mother gave him for Christmas. Thanks, Mom. Thank you very much. Look at it. Doesn't that look fantastic, though? It looks great. So most of the time, you're not going to bring a third tarp, but hey... If you got one, why not put another one up and create a very fantastic wind blocking area. How is this place, man? Cozy? It's cozy, man. So we have this place pretty blocked off from the wind and it's going to, it's about 15 degrees tonight. So this is very, very, very good. We could probably sleep here. But we have our tents. 
We are warm. We were gonna actually build a long fire that would radiate all the heat across our whole body, but it's seriously just so comfortable and cozy here that we don't need to do that. We actually have kind of, I guess, a half long fire, but just make sure that you remember to always be prepared when you go up to do winter camping. We made sure we had the correct gear. We were extra safe. And these are different examples of things that you can do to make your winter camping experience extremely enjoyable, where you can just be extra warm and it's not a horrible time. Your Highness has arrived. That's a mighty fire. Oh. We could feel that the temperature definitely dropped and it is so cold. It's in the teens. I'm guessing it's, I don't know, man. It could be 10 degrees potentially, eight degrees, I don't know. But it is very cold. So we had to get this huge fire roar. Well, that was a successful camping weekend. Here on the final night, getting ready for bed in my 25 below sleeping bag. Highly recommend it for cold temps like we have tonight in the White Mountains a couple days after Christmas 2020. Good night. Look at this thing. It's crazy. Day two. Very positive, productive, good day. Look forward to waking up tomorrow, having some tasty breakfast. Good night. No part I definitely do not like about winter. The sun goes down so early. You kind of got to get up early in the morning. So I've got to get up, even though I could sleep another couple hours and be feeling pretty good. It is so cold, the first thing that I got to do is get a fire roaring. Very cold. Man. It was definitely colder this morning than yesterday. We're gonna have to get packed up soon. Jeff is coming out of his tent right now. The water was so frozen, I got just enough to be able to have a half a cup right here. So running out of battery, we're gonna pack up, get our sleds all together, and then we will leave. Jeff is coming out of his tent right now. How are you yesterday, man? Feeling toasty? great time man so I'm running out of battery we're gonna have a little bit of coffee some breakfast we're gonna pack up get everything on the sleds and then unfortunately we're gonna have to go back to the boring mundane work life we kind of wish that we could stay here a week or two weeks or shoot you want to live here man hey I'm ready to move in let's move in he's ready to move in maybe we won't leave and we'll just stay here A little bit of protein before we pack up and finish our trip. Some good old grilled steak. Getting ready to head out. Yep. We're leaving right as the snowstorm's coming in. That's right, it's snowing. Oh man. Snowstorm is coming. This is when you got a skedaddle. We gotta get out of here, man. Everything under control, right, man? Yeah. Storm's coming. Yeah. <laughs> Storm's coming, man.
day three, we've packed up and the snow is falling, storm is coming. We were blessed with fantastic weather the two days that we're here and perfectly it is starting to snow kind of heavy as we're leaving. Hope the roads are all right. Gonna have to drive carefully. That's why I have an all wheel drive. But we wanna thank you guys for watching Vaz Survival. This was a fantastic time. Make sure you practice good safety skills. Come prepared, bring correct gear when you're out in the wilderness and doing some winter backwoods camping. The adventure is over. We got to the parking lot. The snow's coming down. It's starting to come down pretty heavy. You have a good time, Mr. Jeffrey? Yeah, I don't want to go home. I'd stay a few more nights if you did. Right? Yeah. yeah, it was great. My glasses are fogging up. So anyways, we're going to get going. I want to thank you for watching Voss Survival. Make sure you like and subscribe. And you can totally go winter camping safely and be comfortable as long as you're safe. You bring the right gear and you can have a good time. So I can barely see because of these glasses and we got to start driving on the road and be safe because of the snow. So thanks again for watching. Take it easy.